Hello! I'm going to talk about some of the videos we're going to be doing, looking at this month. 2016 Mazda 3. I bought it about a year and a half ago. Uh, so, you know, not perfectly new, but new to me. And, uh, you know, I had a Mazda 3 before that. It was in 09, I think. Somewhere around there. It was about 10 years old when it died. And I bought that one. And when I bought it, the very first day I got it, I got some Linux shell scripts, and then I got a root shell on the media center inside. I quickly uh, recorded some videos as I was doing this, with the intent of doing a series on it a year and a half ago. And I played around with it. You know, like I said, I got a root shell. It's got Wi-Fi built in. It has two USB ports and an SD card slot. And uh, I've been meaning to do a lot more with it. At the same time, I don't want to screw up my car too bad. Um, but I got dialogues popping up on it and stuff like that. And I said, I, I recorded these videos a year and a half ago and never posted them. And I thought, hey, I should post them. Uh, so I do apologize. Some of them, like I said, are, are not the best quality. It's just me holding my cell phone in the car as I'm figuring this stuff out. And I'm very excited. Uh, and then other stuff I did with, a, with my nicer camera, uh, trying to explain how to do some of the stuff. And then when I went to edit it a year and a half later, I realized that some of the video files were corrupt and they were like cutting off. So... Uh, as you watch the videos, if it feels like they're incomplete, they kind of are. If you guys are really interested in this, maybe I'll do an updated series with a little more in-depth on it. Uh, but in this series, uh, I'm going to show you how to uh, get a root shell by pressing a couple of keys on uh, the little dashboard there. Uh, and show you how you can run scripts off a USB drive just by plugging it in and... Um, and how you can get dialog box. I have a, a, another video where I did dump a bunch of the files from the file system. And we looked at them. We saw that it had a full version of BusyBox on there. Along with a chur root, you know, built into that BusyBox. And I go over the JCI command. So uh, Johnson Control Systems or Johnson Control Interface is what the program is, JCI. Johnson Control Systems, I think, is the name of the company that designed the interface. And they have a simple little dialog program. Much like if you've ever played with Zenity or X dialog, it's kind of like that, but for the car, where you can do informational dialogues with OK buttons, yes, no buttons, cancel buttons. Um, so you can have little dialog boxes pop up on the screen from a shell script, and then get the user input from those button presses. Something I did not get into, although I've read a lot about, there are a lot of mods for the system where you can actually create interfaces and little applications using some CSS and JavaScript, I guess. And that's something that I, I really wanted to get into. I just haven't had the chance. I bought this car, I was getting into it, and then it became summer, and it was too hot to sit out in my car, and then I tore my, the ligament in my knee and had to have surgery, and I was out of commission for a while, and then it was summer again, so it's just, you know, when I live in Florida, it's very hot. I have not really had a chance to really sit down and get into this system like I would have, but I might in the future. Anyway, that is what this series is. This is the first video in that series, and I think I have five or six videos, uh, you know, some of it's repeat stuff because I just talk about the same things, but that's what we're going to be looking at over the next couple of weeks. Uh, check out the link in the description of the playlist or at the end of this video for the full playlist. I hope you enjoy it, uh, and uh, I hope that if you have a car running Linux, you have a root shell on it because you should. If you own a device that runs Linux, you should have a root shell. Anyway, thanks for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description as always. I hope that you have a great day.